Here are eight of the most common single candlestick reversal signals. The doji is very good for picking tops and bottoms, especially the long-legged doji. And the dragonfly doji and gravestone are also pretty good for picking tops and bottoms. Just the regular doji can mean a period of indecision and the trend could continue after a day or so. So just a regular doji, not that great. It depends on what's behind it when you see a doji. Okay, the fully engulfing candlestick. This is a bullish green over red candlestick. The entire body of the red candlestick would fit inside of the body of the green one. A fully engulfing bearish candlestick is where the whole body of the preceding candlestick, which was green, can slide right in and fit comfortably inside of the body of the red candlestick. Now, these are very good reversal signals. The harami is the bullish harami is where the stock opens here, closes down on the day. The next day, it gaps up and closes within the body of the previous candle. And a bearish harami, okay? This day, the stock opened here, closed there. It gapped down the next day and closed within the entire body. You could slide this candlestick right inside the body, okay? The kicker is where you have an open here, it closes low, then you have a huge gap up at the open and a nice run with a solid green candlestick. And the opposite is true for the kicker here. The stock opens at the low, closes at the high of this candle. The next day it gaps down, runs all the way to the bottom and closes lower. So that's a bearish kicker. The dark cloud cover is where this is a bearish signal. This day the stock opened down here and closed there. The next day there was a huge gap up and the close right here at the low of the day or near the low of the day was below the 50% line or the halfway mark of this candle. Okay, so that's bearish. The piercing is when the stock opens high the previous day, closes at the low, then there's a gap down the next day at the open and the top or the closing price of this candle is above the halfway mark of this candle. So that's bullish. One of my favorites is the shooting star and the hammer and the doji. Long-legged doji especially. Okay, Shooting stars are excellent for calling tops. Hammers are excellent for calling bottoms. Now the reason a shooting star is a good reversal signal at a top in this example, the color really doesn't matter, green or red. Red is more negative or bearish. Okay, the stock opens at the low. Runs all the way up to the top of the upper wick sometime during the day and selling pressure pushes it down to close right here at the top of the candle. Now the smaller the body, the better as far as being bearish. Quite similar to the gravestone doji. Okay, if you see one of those at the top, could be a reversal signal also. The hammer is good as a bullish signal because the stock opens here at the bottom of the body. Sometime during the day, it runs all the way down to the low of the day at the bottom of the lower wick and rallies strongly to close at the high of the day at the top of the body here. So that's why a hammer shows that the buyers were in control here by the end of the day or the close of the session. On the shooting star it shows that the bears took over and it, by the end of the day were more in control.